Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Black Friday. I know you've probably seen so many Black Friday videos at this point, but it is a fun time to get some products on sale if you need them, if you want gifts, if you want something for yourself. I figured I would go through and make a list of the sales that I'm the most excited about that I might be shopping myself and I will share them with you. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's get started. All right, let's start with the sale that I think is one of the best out there. I'm kind of surprised by this sale, but it's Sigma. Sigma is 40% off, 40% off and free shipping, which is pretty incredible. Most of the sales that I've seen are anywhere between 20, 25, 30. I haven't seen too many 40% off sales, especially on makeup. So that's pretty incredible. So I wanted to start with them. I have quite a few Sigma things that I really love. So I wanted to share a few of them. I have all of these things on today. So the first one is this. You've probably seen me talk about this before, but this is their color correcting duo. You know me and color corrector. I am always looking for the best and this one is fantastic. This is the one that I have on today. This is such a kind of, I would say creamy moisturizing color corrector. It has a little bit of luminosity to it, not in like a glittery way, but it definitely adds hydration under your eyes. It is a cream texture, but it's not a dry cream at all. It's very, very hydrating. Kind of reminds me of the Becca Smashbox under eye brightener. Used to be the Becca under eye brightener. That's kind of what the consistency of this reminds me of. But what I love about this one is you get two shades in here. So you get a darker shade and a lighter shade. As you can see, I've hit pan on the darker one. But I love that you get two because you can kind of customize your own color depending on your skin tone. This comes in three shades. This is the lightest one, which is light to medium. I do use the darker shade the most, but I do like this lighter shade for the inner corner of my eye. Sometimes I forget to do color corrector right here. So I like that you have a lighter option in here, but this is a great one if I, or when I, cause I definitely will run out of this, I will definitely be buying another one because I love it. Also from Sigma, I've talked your ear off about this, but I'm gonna mention it again. This brush for concealer, this is the FO3 High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. I love, it's great for highlighter, which is what it's intended for, but I love it so much for concealer. I used it for my concealer today, but it's very unique because the bristles are kind of on the longer side. It has kind of a fluffy end, but it's a little bit dense. So I find that you can really tap your product in and keep the coverage if you want, but because it is a little bit fluffy, you can kind of spread it out a bit if you're wanting to really fan your concealer out. It's very unique. I don't know of another concealer brush or a brush in general that's shaped exactly like this, but I love it. I have like four of these and it's one of my favorites that I own for concealer. I also love Sigma eye products. I've been talking about their eyeshadow palettes really since the beginning of my channel. I have quite a few of them. But the other thing that I love from them for the eyes are these. This is the eyeshadow base primer, or you could just use it as a cream shadow stick, but I use mine as a primer. This one is the shade Ignite, which is just kind of a creamy beige color, very similar to my skin tone, but I love this as an eyeshadow base. I use this today under my eyeshadow and it just evens out your eyelids and gives you a really clean blank canvas for eyeshadow. They also make these in colors, so if you wanted to start with a colored base, you could do that. I just always use one that's similar to my skin tone, but I use and love this, highly recommend. And then the last thing is what I have on my eyes, and I know I've talked about this quite a few times before, but I love Sigma palettes. This is the one that I have on today. It's the Ambiance palette. It's a really beautiful, neutral, 
warm palette and I just, their formula is so nice. The mattes are very buttery and very easy to apply, very easy to blend and they're just, it's a really nice formula to work with. Today I have on this shade right here which is Firefly. It's a really pretty kind of a bronzy taupe color. I have that on my lid and then I took a little bit of this brown which is Basque in my crease. I love this palette. This is so beautiful. If you love a warm neutral palette, this one is beautiful. I also love the Enchanted palette. I used that a few videos ago. It's a little bit more of a purple, cooler color story, but their eyeshadow palettes, I highly recommend. The website is 40% off, but you can use discount codes on top of that, which I'm also kind of surprised about, but you can. I do have a Sigma code if you'd like to use it. It's just Blair, and that will save you a little bit more on top of the 40%. Next up is BK Beauty, of course. If you watch my videos, you know I love BK Beauty brushes. Their website is 20% off for Black Friday. If you do one of the brush sets, those are even more than 20%. They're already discounted because you're buying a bundle and then it's 20% off of that. So if you need a set of brushes, now's a good time to get them. If you watch my videos, you know which brushes I use all the time from BK Beauty, the 106. This is my most used foundation brush by far. I love it. I have four of these, I think, at this point, and they're fantastic. It's the perfect round, kind of dome-shaped foundation brush. It's a kind of dense on the end here, so you can really get coverage, really stipple products on if you need to, or you can buff it out if you want more of a light coverage. This also works great for cream blush and bronzer. I love this. I will never stop talking about it because it's my favorite. It's my most used by far. Another one I love is this brush. This is the 110 Large Concealer Brush. This is a bit larger. So compared to the Sigma one, this one is quite a bit larger. It's more tapered, a little bit more pointed. This one, you don't get the fluffy quality that you get from the Sigma. So you do get a bit more coverage, I find, with this. But I love this brush. If you are really wanting to blend your concealer but keep it where you placed it and really keep the pigment, this is a great brush for that. This is a full coverage concealer brush. I love it. I love the Sigma as well. It just kind of depends on what you're going for. I also love this one. This is the 109 from BK Beauty. This is also great for cream bronzer and cream blush. It's like a mini version of their 101 brush, so it's angled, but it fits perfectly right against your cheek right here. So it's great if you're contouring or if you wanna apply bronzer in more of a precise way. This is a great brush to do that with. I love it. You can also use this for concealer. I've seen a lot of people using this under their eyes. It's a great brush. The other brush that I love, and sadly it's out of stock, but I'm gonna mention it anyway. The 208, this little mini angled brush is non-negotiable. I need this in my life. In fact, I hope they bring it back before the sale is over because I will be ordering two more of these. I can't do a winged liner. I can't do eyeliner at all without this brush. This is what I use today to make this wing that I have and it's fantastic. I do not know of a smaller, more precise angled brush than this one. I love it. There are so many BK Beauty brushes that I love though. I also love the travel sets. The Angie Hot and Flashy travel set came out recently. That is great. And then there's also just the original BK Beauty travel set. Either of them are fantastic, but honestly, you can't go wrong with any BK Beauty product. Next, I wanted to talk about Jane Iredell because this is a brand that I've kind of been getting into this year. I tried some of their products earlier in the year and over time I've tried more and more and more and they're gonna be doing 20% off at Jane Iredell, but then also I believe at Ulta it's 20% off and Derm Store I think also has Jane Iredell 20% off. My favorite thing that I've tried from them by far is this. 
This is actually the foundation that I have on today. This is the pressed powder foundation. I tried this, it was early this year, but this is such a beautiful powder foundation. This, if I'm gonna use a powder foundation, I love this one. This gives you, I would say a soft matte finish, but this gives you some coverage. This really, if you really build it up, you can get a full coverage with this. This is what I have on today and I love it. It's refillable, so you can just pop the, re, uh, the pan out with that little hole right there and buy a refill when you're done. I believe you can buy the compact by itself, the refill by itself, and then you can buy them together if you want. But I love this. I, in fact, I'm kind of shocked I haven't hit pan on it because I can see the rings in here, which that's usually a sign you're about to hit pan on something. I have a feeling I will be hitting pan soon. And I do really like it with their brush. If you have a brush you like already, then it works fine with whatever. But their brush is the perfect size to fit in here and it works well at applying it. You can really, again, kind of buff it if you want, if you want a lighter coverage or you can really stipple to get more coverage in areas where you need it. But this has been my favorite product that I've tried so far. But I do have a few other things that I really like. This is actually the blush that I have on today. This is the Jane Iredell Glow Time Blush Stick in the shade Balmy. This is such a beautiful color. I absolutely love this shade. It's a rosy pink, but it's a little bit mauve too. It is so nice. This is a very glowy type cream blush. It's more on the balmy side, like the name says. You get a lot of glow. And I actually apply this over the powder foundation. So that's what I did today, and I had no issues with doing that. I'm just kind of careful when I'm applying it and just kind of delicately tap it on instead of really swiping or disrupting anything. But I love the color on this. I love how glowy it is. I feel like this pairs really well with this because this is more matte, this is more glowy. So together they just look really pretty. I also have been testing their concealer. This they did send me um, in PR, the concealer. This is the concealer I have on today, but I really like this. I really like this. I have two shades. The one that works the best for me is 4N. This is the one I have under my eyes today. This gives really great coverage. I would say medium to full, depending on how much you're applying. Today I got really great coverage and I did not apply much, as you'll see in the B-roll, but I really like this. It is more of a matte concealer. It dries down to more of a matte finish. I would say, I don't know, maybe more of a satin finish, but the coverage is nice. It wears well on me and I've been enjoying it. This is a newer product, so I haven't had the time that I've had with these other things with this, but I am really enjoying the concealer. Oh, one more thing from Jane Iredell that works really well with the powder foundation is this, the Pomest Hydration Spray. This, after you've applied everything, you spray this and it just kind of helps meld everything together, especially if you're using powders and creams. This just kind of melts together all your products. So I do use this at the end whenever I use a powder foundation, particularly this one. So I like this as well. City Beauty is doing 40% off the entire site. And my favorite product from City Beauty, where is it? It's this. Look at this one is pretty much empty. I'm like scraping the sides at this point. This is the City Lips in Clear. This is what I use before I do my makeup nine times out of 10, unless I don't have one up here. This just perfectly preps your lips for lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss, whatever. It makes your lips look just better in general. I've kind of talked about this before, but this is a product that even my mom likes, and my mom doesn't like anything. She's very picky with everything. Even she likes this and uses this product. That means a lot coming from me. You just have to trust me on that. But I always have one of these up here. I'm about to go through this one. I already have another backup. I think I might order another one because I just, this is something I, I use constantly. I always have it 
in my makeup room up here. Elf is also doing a Black Friday sale. Their sale is 30% off of $35, which is pretty good. I love a lot of Elf products. My favorites from them are the new lip oil, 100%. I mentioned this in my speed reviews video, if you saw that. These are fantastic. This is the best drugstore lip oil that I've tried, hands down. Everybody should try these. This is uh, Honey Talks, which is a really pretty kind of brownie nude. They are really shiny, not sticky or heavy feeling on the lips, and they have a really nice minty smell. I highly recommend these. I have two and I kind of want to get a few more of them. I love these. I also love, where is it? The e.l.f. Lash and Roll. The Lash and Roll Mascara. Another product I've talked about so many times at this point, it's crazy, but this in brown is my favorite everyday mascara. I, I've been through probably three of these, maybe four of these. This is $6 and it is well worth $6. I love it. It is the perfect lengthening and separating mascara. It doesn't do a ton for volume. So if you are more into a, a volumizing mascara, you might not love this, but if you like something that just really lengthens and separates, highly recommend if you want something really soft for every day. I love the brown color. They do also make black, but I always buy the brown and it's fantastic. It doesn't smudge. Even a tube of this, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I use a tube of this forever. Like it just lasts. They don't dry out quickly. This is a fantastic product. Highly recommend. And then the other thing that I love from e.l.f. I don't think you can go wrong with is the Halo Glow. This came out, I guess it was last year. I have, I have a few shades, but the one I use the most is shade three. It's a little bit more of, I guess kind of a peachy color, but I love it. You could even wear this on its own, honestly, if you want to. So that shade three right there. Shade three is a really good match for my skin tone. These are fantastic if you love that glowy complexion. This is good. It's really pretty to use with just concealer all over. Spot conceal with some concealer. Use that as your base and I love it. Such a good combo. Another brand that is very exciting is YSL. YSL is doing 30% off site-wide. However, there are some exclusions because I got real excited because I thought these were going to be on sale and I got really excited. The uh, mini clutch palettes, these aren't included. That makes me sad. I wonder why they didn't include these. Probably because they're super popular. So those are not included. But the other two products that I love from YSL, again, another mascara. This is the mascara I used today. The YSL Lash Clash in brown. Now, if you are looking for volume, this is the one. This gives you a lot of intensity. It makes your lashes stand out. Even in the brown, it packs a punch with the lashes. So if you're looking for impact, this is the one. I love this. I love this and e.l.f. Lash and Roll. I kind of alternate the two. This for today when I'm doing more makeup, e.l.f. when I have just a little bit of makeup on for every day. This is fantastic. I love it. It's a beautiful chocolate brown. It does have kind of a larger wand. So if that is not something you love, keep that in mind. But this is a fantastic mascara. I bought another one during the Sephora sale and then YSL just gifted me some more of these, which I'm so grateful for. But this is fantastic. Highly recommend if you like that kind of mascara. And then the other thing that I love are these, the Candy Glaze from YSL. I have two of them, but today I have this one on. This is shade 15. If you want extreme, glossy, shiny, juicy looking lips, these will give you that, but look at that color. Shade 15. This is so beautiful. In fact, this has been in my purse. I had to go run and grab it. So, so good. If you love that really hydrated, plump 
juicy look on your lips with some color. These are for you also. I just have to say this, the packaging on these, heavy, weighty, luxe feeling, 10 out of 10 on the packaging. YSL does well with packaging. I feel the same way about these. But I also have shade two. This one I usually keep up here, but it's just a light pink. So it looks like that. It's, it doesn't give you a ton of color. It's just a very, very slight pink hue, but it looks great with everything. And that is it there. So that is shade two and that is shade 15. I also have one of the original Rouge Volupte gloss sticks in the gold packaging. I have that one in the shade 44. It's kind of a mauve-y, I don't know. I guess it's kind of a pinky brown color. I love that one too. These from YSL, so, so nice. And 30% off is pretty good. Nordstrom is also doing a pretty good beauty sale. Not everything is on sale, it's just select things. But I think the most exciting thing that we, pretty much everybody is excited about is this Tom Ford foundation stick. I could not believe this when I saw this. I saw it on Sephora first. It was 50% off and it's 50% off on a lot of websites, including Nordstrom. Nordstrom, last time I checked, still had quite a few shades in stock. So when I link this, I'll link Nordstrom because I think Sephora, most of the shades are sold out. But Nordstrom still has some when I'm filming this video, but I cannot believe this is 50% off. I, of course, just bought mine during the Sephora sale, so I did not say 50%, but for those of you that were able to snag this at 50%, I'm very happy for you. This is... Uh, it's so beautiful. It's a newer foundation to me, but as I said in my speed reviews video, I think this is worth it. I think it is a beautiful skin-like formula, natural finish, medium coverage. I love it. I'm so happy to have it. I wish I got it 50% off, but that's okay. If you can get this 50% off, do it. They have it at Nordstrom. Also at Nordstrom, this is something just I don't even own this, but I'm just putting it out there because I feel like it's a good sale. And I think it's the same price at Ulta, but it's the Derma Flash. I've always wanted a Derma Flash. I don't own one, but I've always wanted one. I love, or I do shave my face, uh, I don't know, like once, once a week, maybe once every two weeks probably. I just use a, a men's razor, honestly, but I always thought it would be so nice to get a Derma Flash. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get one for Christmas, but I want to put that in here because it's $139 instead of $200, which is a pretty good discount. Also, I noticed on Nordstrom, the Ugg slippers are on sale, 30% off, which is also good. I have Ugg slippers and I love them. A great Christmas gift for somebody if you know someone that would like slippers. Those are fantastic. And then the other thing at Nordstrom, perfect gift for yourself or somebody else is the Barefoot Dreams double pack of socks. I think they're 20% off or 30% off on Nordstrom. I will link them below, but that is a great gift for yourself if you want, or you can gift it to someone else. But those socks to sleep in, if you're someone that loves to sleep in fuzzy socks, those are fantastic. I have quite a few that I've accumulated over the years, and I love those when the weather is cold. Such a good gift for you or someone else. Ulta also has a ton of Black Friday sales, although Ulta has been doing Black Friday for the entire month of November. They have so many things, I could not possibly go through everything. The things that really stood out to me the most were $12 mascaras. They've been doing that for years. They always, every Black Friday, they choose some mascaras to include in this. When I looked at the list, Benefit Roller Lash was on there, which is a good one. Um, but the other one that kind of surprised me, I haven't tried it, but I've heard great things about it, is the new Clinique High Impact Volume Mascara. That may be the wrong name, I'm not sure, but I've heard great things about that mascara. I've just never tried it, but that was actually included in the $12 mascara sale. $12 is pretty good feel like that is close to drugstore prices 
nowadays, although still the L flash and roll, like I said, is $6, which is fantastic, but it's a good time to get a new mascara or try a new one if you're wanting to. The main thing I was really excited to see on Ulta is this product that I've fallen in love with recently is 30% off right now. This ABH brow powder that I can't shut up about. I've been talking about this since I got it and I haven't even had it that long, but I cannot, I can't not use this. I'm absolutely in love with it. I use medium brown. This is what I have in my brows today and I'm not sure that something else is going to come along and convince me to use it instead of this. I just, I feel like I have found my holy grail and it's going to be really, really hard to get me away from this now. I do love uh, a lot of drugstore brow pencils. The ABH brow pencils are nice too at 30% off, but this, I will pay full price for this all day long. I would certainly pay 30% off for this because I love it that much. So if you're wanting to try this or you want to try an Anastasia brow product, they are 30% off on Ulta right now. I also saw all of the Tarte foundations are 50% off. Those I have not tried. In fact, have I even tried a Tarte foundation? I don't think that I have. I am kind of curious to try the CC Cloud Cream, I think is what it's called. I know that uh, I hear Kelly Gooch talk about that all the time, how that's her favorite. That is 50% off right now, as well as all the other Tarte foundations. I haven't tried many of those, so or I haven't tried any of them, so I can't speak to that, but 50% off is really good. Sephora is also doing a Black Friday sale. They typically do a few products on Black Friday that are 50% off, and I did see they're doing the same thing this year. Nothing, or not nothing, but only a few things kind of piqued my interest. I have it pulled up on my phone here. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in Brown. I think it's just that mascara in general, but the brown one I have tried and I really like it. I would probably pick the YSL of the two, but I also like the Too Faced in Brown. It is similar to the YSL. And then the other two things that I'm kind of interested in are the Tarte. Amazonian Clay Blushes are gonna be 50% off. I have one of those blushes and it was a limited edition one. I think it was the one that came out with the really large Tartlet and Bloom palette. That's the only blush that I have, but I've always wanted that blush in the shade Exposed, which I think is just like a nude color. That has always been on my list. I'm kind of thinking about buying it. It'll be $15 instead of 30, which is not bad. The only other thing I am kind of thinking about, I've heard great things about this before, the Sunday Riley Auto Correct Eye Cream. I've always heard really good things about that one. That is included in the 50% off that's going to be on Black Friday. It says the Brightening Depuffing Eye Cream for Dark Circles, which I have. So I'm kind of curious on that. Let me know if you've tried it, what your thoughts are. They've also been doing a new sale every day on a particular brand. So I believe today it's Sunday Riley. 50% off, but Friday, on Black Friday, Fenty is gonna be 30% off. And I'm not sure, it on here it just says excludes fragrance. So I'm assuming everything else is gonna be included. So the Diamond Bomb, which I love, the Gloss Bombs, I love, this new bronzer I'm really liking in the light shade into sun, I love that one. So there's some really good Fenty products. That's gonna be tomorrow or the day that this goes up. That should be 30% off is what it looks like. Um, and then after that, it says Kiehl's Sat Sunday Makeup Forever and Carolina Herrera. I'm not sure if Makeup Forever is gonna be everything or certain things, it doesn't really say. And then Monday, Cyber Monday is Give and Youth to the People. So Sephora, honestly, I'm more excited about the Sephora stuff than the Ulta stuff, but I don't know. There's not anything that I'm like dying to have, but pretty good deals. Lastly, I just wanted to finish up with a few random things, some fashion and some jewelry. I know I mainly talk about makeup, but I figured I would share some other Black Friday things if you are curious. First up, Madewell is 
40% off right now, which a lot of what you see me wear in videos is from Madewell. This uh, sweater that I have on, you can't really see it, but it's really cute. This is from Madewell. I got this in another color also uh, about a week ago because I love it so much. The tees that I wear a lot, um, long sleeve tees, a lot of them are from Madewell. They have really great minimalist basics. They also have great jeans if you need jeans. I just love the Madewell vibe. That is very much the kind of clothes that I love. So Madewell is 40% off, which they're a little bit on the pricier side. So 40% is really good. Highly recommend. They have cute purses. They have cute shoes. I will link a few things that I own below that I really like. If you are curious, I will link them for you. But Madewell, 40% is really good. Also, I will tell you who you do not need to sleep on right now is Old Navy. Old Navy has got some cute stuff right now. When my mom was here this last weekend, we, we went to Old Navy for some reason when she comes. We always go to Old Navy and I always end up buying all of these things. She like dresses me and tells me what I need to wear in videos and that's exactly what happened this last time she was here. But there are so many good things. That purple sweater I had on in the last video, that is from Old Navy. I got it in a few different colors. I believe on Black Friday, everything is 50% off, which is a really great deal. They have just got great stuff right now. Really cute skirts. I got a really cute brown pleather skirt, like a shorter pleather skirt. Really, really cute. They have great tees. They have a lot of cute jackets right now and blazers and jeans. They have a pair of wide leg high rise jeans in this really beautiful brown espresso color that I got and I love them. They come in a few different colors, but they are so cute. They are so cute and they, I can't believe how well they fit. Old Navy jeans seem to fit me really well. I don't know why, but they do. They have great stuff right now, really, really cute pieces. So definitely look into them. And then the other thing that I love, I know I've talked about this a few times, at least once, in a favorites video, maybe more than that, but my favorite pajamas, my favorite underwear to sleep in are Tommy John. Tommy John's 30% off, which is very good for them because again, they are on the more expensive side. So 30% is good. I love their pajamas. I will link the ones below that I have. A lot of their products are made out of Modal, which is that really kind of slinky, soft, slightly stretchy fabric that's really comfortable to sleep in, but I love it. I have quite a few things from them. I have pajama pants, I have shorts, I have tops, um, I have the underwear, I love the boy shorts, I sleep in those. Highly recommend if you wanna get a gift for somebody. They have men's stuff also. Their stuff is so nice, 30% off is great. I will link what I own and what I have my eye on below for you. And then finally, I just wanted to touch on jewelry. I love jewelry. Jewelry is jewelry's up there for me in terms of things that I love to buy. It's up there with makeup. I love it. A few places that I have a lot of pieces from that I love. Anna Luisa, they are, let's see, I have it here. On Black Friday, if you buy two items, you save 25%. If you buy three items, you save 30%. If you buy four items, you save 35%, which is really good. I wear a lot of their pieces quite a bit. These hoops that I wear all the time, these gold ones, those are Ana Luisa. I have a few other Ana Luisa pieces that I usually link in the description box in my videos because I wear them all the time. Their pieces are really nice. They do not tarnish. Also, Majuri, who I also really love. Now, Majuri is more expensive. Their stuff is 14 karat gold, so it is more on the expensive side, but everything online is 20% off. So not a huge discount, but when you're talking about 14 karat gold jewelry, that's decent. The hoops that I wear that are the really large oversized hoops, those are from Majuri. This ring that I love, I wear this every single day. This ring on my pointer finger right here that I love, that is from Majuri. Their pieces are beautiful. I also have a gold Zodiac necklace from them that my mom got me a few years ago. 
Their pieces are so nice. Again, I would love everything from their website. <laughs> I love, I love their pieces. I think that's everything. I hope this was enjoyable. I know the Black Friday sales can be very overwhelming because there are so many of them. It's very hard to keep track of. So I thought if you wanted to know what I'm most excited about, I thought I would just share those things with you. And I will have everything that I talked about linked for you. I do use affiliate links that support my channel. So thank you so much if you shop through them. And remember, if you don't need something, don't buy it. If don't don't use Black Friday as an excuse to buy things that you don't need. Everybody likes to buy something every now and then. I am definitely guilty of that, but don't go overboard. Don't let anyone talk you into buying something that you don't want or need. Just remember that if you do really want something or you need to buy something for a gift, it's a good time to do it. But if you don't, then skip it. Just remember that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and follow me over on Instagram at simply.player and TikTok simply.player1 and I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.